a salesman that gets a, an appointment tomorrow night, let's say at 7 o'clock, maybe the company gives him a, a name off an ad, which ain't no good because you're still talking to a stranger. Or you make a telephone call, cold call to some stranger. Or you knock on a door to some stranger and make an appointment. Tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, you got an appointment. At 6.30, you're eating dinner, and you just got a sick feeling because you got to go talk to strangers that don't want to talk to you, right? And you get up and you kiss your wife and your baby's goodbye and you go get in the car and you're driving your appointment and you just got you're just sick like you're fixing to throw up you just got a you just got a sick feeling you're right you're driving down the lane with one arm on the steering wheel and you got a map in the other hand because you ain't never been there right so you're trying to find your way you get lost two or three times you get frustrated you start sweating you're sick as a dog but you finally find the house you pull in the driveway you get out the door you get out the car you slam the door you start walking to the door every step you take to the door your heart's just racing more you just get almost there and you say oh i hope they ain't here i hope they don't show up you knock on the door they don't all of a sudden run up and open the door and say welcome art i'm so happy to see you come in and sign me up no you knock on the door you ring the doorbell they, they take forever and a day to get there right and they finally come to the door and they 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 they, they peer out behind the curtain right to size you up right that they open the door just far enough as that chain opens right and they say uh who are you and you say well i'm art Weaves with itt i got a point with united at seven o'clock and you just see the disgusted look on their face right and they say well since you came on out here come on in you know so they open the door reluctantly and they take you to the living room do you know how many times they go in the living room on Thanksgiving and Christmas? You in there sitting in this old cold room on furniture they sit on twice a year? Hey, that's the world of sales, right? And, and the hardest decision folks I ever had to make was to come full time. Hey, you know, before I came full time, I had to find a way to have fun, to get rid of all this pressure, to enjoy the business, and I found it by recruiting, prospecting by recruiting. Before any business activity takes place, you must have a relationship first. You must have their trust first. Let me give you an example. I never made a sale on the first interview. I understand some of you people do that. I can't even comprehend somebody doing something like that, you know? I mean, I was just a football coach. I never had anybody really train me. I sort of trained myself, you know? But I said, you know, I don't want somebody to walk in my house and put pressure on me to buy something and all this kind of crap, you know? I never made a sale for 20 years on the first interview. The purpose of the first interview is to build a relationship. You want to go in there dressed not like an insurance agent, but like a coach, right? And you go in there and you're with his best friend and you're building a relationship, right? He's getting to know you and where you came from and what your principles are and all that. You're building a relationship. The second purpose of the first interview is you pick up information, then you take it home, you analyze it, you prepare a plan, then you go back on the second interview and you make the sale. I don't know any other way to do it. It takes more time to build it right, but it's worth it to build it right the first time. Trusting relationships is everything in every part of your business. Before they buy a life insurance policy, they gotta trust you. Before they buy an IRA, they gotta trust you. Before they pay $100 to join Primerica, they gotta trust you. Before they take off and pay their expenses to go to the convention, they gotta trust you. Before they go full time, they gotta trust you. Before they make a replacement, they gotta trust you. In every single area of your business, trusting relationships is everything. And if you're in the right market, everybody's gonna have five or 10 best buddies. And I say, now Bill, here's the game. What you do now is you call your best buddy, let's say Joe, on the phone, and all you do is you say this, Joe, this is Bill. I've got a guy I want you to meet. And can, can I bring him by tomorrow night at 7 o'clock? That's all you say. And tomorrow night, we got an appointment. You know, I'm eating dinner with Angela and the kids at 6.30, you know, and I feel so good. I'm just, I'm just having fun. I feel so good. You know, I get up and kiss Angela and, and the kids by, and I go get in my car and pick up Bill, and I got both hands on the steering wheel because I ain't got no mouth because Bill's my mouth, right? He's been there a hundred times, right? 
And man, we're, we're talking about the Bill's so excited about the business, he's about to mess in his pants, right? And man, he's telling me about Joe. You know, they love the bulldogs and they love to fish and they love to hunt. And man, we're having fun. I ain't got no sick feeling. And before I know it, we're already there. We're pulling in the driveway. We don't stop at the front door. We go to the back of the house. We get out of the car. We walk up to the back door. He don't even knock on the door. He opens the door. He goes in the house and he says, Joe! Mary, this is Bill. And we just walk on in. We walk not to the living room, we walk to the den. And all of a sudden the kids come piling out and they're jumping on Uncle Bill, right? And then Mary comes out and Joe comes out. We sit there and we start talking, right? We created an environment that would allow you to attract a different kind of people in huge numbers because we made this business fun and excited and warm.